What's up guys, Luke's Nate here. Today I'm going to show you how to install Permissions X for uh, Craft Bucket. Basically what this does is you can customize uh, what users can use which commands and what shows up next to their names. Um, if you install Craft Bucket like regularly, then you're able to customize what commands they use. But if you want to uh, customize like owner, co-owner, admin, moderator, stuff like that and with colors next to their name, this is a really useful plugin to do that because you can't do that by default. So basically, what you want to do is you had to want to head to the link I have in the description, and you're going to see permissions X, and you just want to click download. You can just hit download again. You can save file, clear that, and you want to minimize, and you're going to have uh, this folder right here. And now all you want to do is go to where you have your server. Now you want to go into plugins and you want to right click on this, go to 7zip, go open archive. I guess you don't have to use 7zip, but it's easy. Then you just want to drag all of these in. You don't really need a uh, chat manager or modify world, but you might as well just throw it in there for the hell of it. So once you have it in there, you can close out of that. And now you've got all these plugins. All you have to simply do is just start the server, let it load the uh, new plugins. So once it does that, you can just hit stop. And now if you go back into plugins, um everything is loaded up and you want to go into prefer uh permissions X. You're gonna have a config and you're gonna have a permissions. I open my stuff with notepad, um, but you can pretty much open it with every whatever you want. Um you don't really need to uh mess with that file really and with this file is the file you wanna uh, mess with and actually um, I'm gonna come back to you cuz I forgot that to uh, edit these kind of files YML files you need a uh, notepad plus plus so I'm gonna go ahead and download that and I'll be back in a second okay and I'm back and I have a uh, notepad plus plus installed now so I'm gonna right click this and go to edit with notepad plus plus and now it actually you can see the YML files so uh, basically this is just the um, raw stuff so it's like allow ops false that way it can uh, work properly and you want to go into the permissions and then go edit with notepad plus plus basically what it gives you here is just the simple groups and then default and default user true and then the permissions and this is really simple to edit um, like I'm gonna try to teach you the basics right now but it's pretty simple if you want to make uh, a user Basically, this is a default user, so um, he's default is true. So, all if you want to make a new user, just can copy this. Here, let me get all of it. You want to control C, then you can go down a space and hit control V. Actually, that did not work out the way I wanted to. Never mind. Okay, so shoot, control Z. Controls. Okay, so now you would go and then you would backspace and then go into where default is and type in the next user you want to use. So let's say that you want to use your moderator. So you can just type that in and then you do colon. And uh, YML files are very case sensitive, so you want to make sure you get them right. You can go down. Now you're gonna type in default. Oh, wait, do I have that on the right line? Um, yeah, I do. Okay, and then false. And then you want to do permissions. Colon. And then, actually, we're just going to um get rid of this moderator. And we're just going to make an entire new user called admins because that'll be easier to explain. Okay, so now we have an admins. Basically, we have um, no default thing because we're going to have an inherit default. So you can also do that. But if I wanted to, I could write in here default and then have it false, but there'd be no point. Um, and then you have permissions as star. Basically, what that means is if it's star, then they have all the permissions. So they don't have, they don't not have anything and then you can just go down you can go to prefix colon and then this is really funny how you do this uh, you have to figure out a color so I'm trying to think of a color really quick one second 
Um, most of the colors are like random letters and numbers because that's the Minecraft default colors. But let's just say, first thing you want to start off when you're going to add a color to the name, you hit this quotation and then you do an at sign and then you have a bunch of numbers you can choose from. But let's just pick six. I think that's like red or something. Then you're going to do brackets and then you're going to do the same color. So at six. And then you're going to type in the name. So add min. Um, it doesn't have to be the name of the uh, group you're using. It's just like the um, what you're using for that will display in the person's name when they're that specific thing. So admin and then at uh, six and then another bracket and then at f and then the colon. And so this user's name would be um, the color red with admin and their permissions would be everything they would inherit everything that the default has and yeah so if you wanted to do something like um, a moderator like I was gonna do before you could probably go back here actually go back type in moderator um, colon inheritance and then colon default actually if you wanted to just have the moderator have everything the admins have then you could type in admins or actually you could go up to here and change this to um, moderator and then that would inherit everything the moderator has and we're gonna give the permissions for the moderator we're gonna have um, this is only if you have in the essentials plugin installed but you probably should because it's kind of necessary essentials um, dot ban so he can ban then we're gonna control C control V kick um, ban oh I know we already said ban so let's make it unban or I think it's pardon actually so pardon and then uh, TP um, and TP here. So there's the uh, commands the moderators gonna be able to use. So the person who joins the game, they're gonna be um, the they're gonna be the default user, and then there'll be admins and moderators. And actually, for the default users, I don't I like to uh, give them more than just the uh, regular modify world command because to be honest it's really not that much so we're gonna go here and we're gonna give them um uh essentials home so that they can do slash home and set home and uh help and spawn and basic stuff like that um, so they can use that otherwise they wouldn't even be able to use that modify world star me uh, basically means they can do anything to the world you could set that so they can only do specific stuff but I really wouldn't bother with that unless you're doing it for your like specific server or something but anyway um, now that the groups is done um, you also have to set up like a users or it won't work at all so once you have all your groups set up then you want to go over here and you're gonna go all the way back and you're gonna type in users and you're gonna make a colon and then you are going to go down and you're gonna go uh, I think right there yeah right there right where the um, moderator and admin line and you're gonna type in uh, your name so Luke 28 in my case and then I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to go down and then right there I'm going to type in group colon 
go down again and type in slash space and then admin and so that uh, I would be an admin and I'm going to go down again so I'm going to go right here and random person 111 um, this person's group is going to be um, they are going to be a moderator and uh, I could basically add any anything else if you have whatever added and I also didn't add a uh, prefix for moderator so actually let me do that really quick control C control V and then I'm just gonna change that uh, crap stop it moderator no, just whatever seven is I don't know what it is but it'll be a different color than the admin so now we have moderator with seven um and then random person would be the moderator I would be the admin and obviously you can set up any more groups you want and do the same thing uh, if you had to find out specific permissions that you want to give the person then basically what you need to do is find the uh, if you let's say you have world edit installed but you only want the moderators and admins to be able to use world edit then you need to go to the uh, page where you download world edit and click on where it the, somewhere where it says like the permissions for it basically it will say the permission you have to give um, for certain people to be able to use it because as of right now the moderator would not be able to use world edit if you had it installed only the admin would be because it has the star so you'd have to go in and find the um whatever the uh world that thing is and you'd have to paste it in here. Also you'd have to do that if you installed any other plugins. So once you uh did that, um you can just click file save and close to that and now if we open it up again uh it should be saved. And when you're done with all this you wanna make sure you do it right so you just wanna copy it and then you're going to go back to your browser and you're gonna type in yml checker online go to this website and now just control v paste it um, so it looks like I did something wrong at that line 6 column 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 oh you see how these are all un not spaced right they should be back here I don't know how that happened actually though. Try to copy and paste that one more time. Control C. Why is it doing that? What the heck? This is being really weird right now. Sorry about this. It shouldn't happen when you do this, but it seems to be happening right now. Crap. Yeah, basically, it should work for you fine, but my thing's being stupid right now, so don't worry about it. Um, it should work for you fine. But once you edit it to your likings and everything like that, just save, start up the server. If you have any problems, you probably did something wrong in the coding. So go to the YML checker and it shouldn't screw up for you and you should be able to do it fine. And if you have any other issues or questions, you can leave them in the comments. And I'll try to get back to you as fast as possible. If I helped you with this video, if you could do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up, that'd be awesome. And if you want to see more videos, and tutorials and stuff like that make sure to subscribe to my channel so other than that hope you enjoyed bye